So for this video, the instructions say, find the average rate of change of the function f from x1 is equal to 1, x2 is equal to 5, where f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 6x plus 1. So we need to find the average rate of change with the given values. So they gave us x1, they gave us x2, and they gave us our function f of x here. So in order to find the average rate of change, we use this formula right over here. f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now, we know what x2 is and we know what x1 is. So in order to plug into the formula, we need to figure out what is f of x2 and what is f of x1. That way we have all the pieces that we need to plug into the formula and then we can just plug in and simplify and find our solution here. So let's focus on finding f of x2 first. So if we're finding f of x2, that means that we're taking x2, plugging it in for x for our function and simplifying. All right, so x2 is equal to 5. So if we're going to find f of x2, that means we're finding f of 5. So we're taking our function f of x here, and we're going to replace every single one of these x's with a 5 and simplify. So that's going to look like 4x squared, where x is 5. All right, so 4, 5 squared, minus 6 times x, which again is going to be a 5, plus 1. So simplifying here, so we need to do 5 squared. 5 squared is uh, 5 times 5, which is 25. All right, then let's drop everything else down. Let's multiply before we add or subtract. So 4 times 25 is 100, minus 6 times 5 is 30. So that all we have to do here is add and subtract in the end. So going from left to right, 100 minus 30 is equal to 70 and 70 plus 1 is 71. So that tells us that f of x2 is equal to 71. So then let's do the same thing, but now let's figure out what is f of x1. All right, so if we're going to find f of x1, going back to the given problem, they told us that x1 is equal to 1. Right, so we're really finding f of 1 here. So we're going to do the same thing, except now we're plugging in 1 for all of the x's. So that means that a 1 is going to go here, and then the 1 is also going to go here. So squaring first, 1 times 1 is just a 1, right? and 1 times 4 is just 4, minus 6 times 1 is just a 6, plus 1. So this one was very easy, because all we were doing was calculating with 1's here. So 4 minus 6 is a negative 2, negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1 there. All right, so that gives us that f of x1 is equal to negative 1. So we should be able to now plug into our formula. f of x2 is equal to 71 minus f of x1 is equal to negative 1 over x2, which is 5, minus x1, which is 1. In our numerator, we have the double negative rule, so that minus negative is going to cancel out to plus a positive, giving us 71 plus 1, which is 72, over 5 minus 1, which is 4. And when we divide that out, I believe that divides out evenly, 72 divided by 4 is an 18. So that is our solution for the problem, so find the average rate of change of the function, well, the average rate of change is 18. Otherwise, that's it for this problem.